वाहे गुरु वाहे गुरु वाहे गुरु वाहे गुरु वाहे गुरु वाहे वाहे गुरु तेरे कवन कवन गुण कह कह गावा तू साहिब गुणी निदाना तुमरे महिमा बर ना साको तू ठाकुर ऊच भगवाना तुमरे महिमा बर ना साको तू ठाकुर ऊच भगवाना गुर कै ग्रह सेवक जो रह गुर की आज्ञा मन मह सह आपस को कर कछ ना जनावे हर हर नाम हृदय सद त्यावे मन बेच सतगुर के पास तिस सेवक के कारज रास सेवा करत होए नह कामी तिस को होत प्राप्त स्वामी अपनी कृपा जिस आप करे नानक सो सेवक गुर की मत ले नानक सो सेवक गुर की मत ले पूरा हंस टुगेदर राल मिलके अंदरो पेज के गुरु नानक पाच नु अपने मना विच रख के ता आखो वाहे गुरु जी का खालसा वाहे गुरु जी की फतेह त पावन पवित्र बाणी आप गुरु अर्जन देव जी महाराज दैट वी ऑल जस्ट हर्ड व्हेन वी गो थ्रू दीस वर्ड्स गुर के ग्रह सेवक जो रह ग्रह मींस द हाउस गुर के ग्रह गुरुज हाउस सेवक द सर्वेंट that servant that stays in the house of the guru gur ki aagya man mah sah the one that takes the guru's word the guru's order and guru's hukam gur ki aagya man mah sah ta apne man vich jara us aagya nu sahar landa basically that person that takes guru's word and accepts it within their mind when we read these words of guru arjan dev ji maharaj and it feels like guru arjan dev ji maharaj is talking about pai lena ji pai lena ji who became guru angad dev ji maharaj this whole body from sukhmani sahib it feels like each word is written for pai lena ji <coughs> and instead of translating it and going through this we're going to see how pai lena ji lived up to these words throughout their life gur sik pyaro when we come when we look at pai lehna ji's life in a place called khudur sahib pai lehna ji is in a place called khudur sahib pai lehna ji's father has passed away who is known as baba feru mal pai lehna ji is now become the jathedar the leader the group leader who now takes the sangat to a place called jwala mukhi in a place called kangra which is in the north of india in himachal pradesh it's a mandir which is known to be a mandir of the goddess of light and just before they go on to this trip they all sit together with their sangat and as they all come together with their sangat that goes together and they form a group at jatha and they all travel to this place which is up in the mountains but today they've all come together just like we have and they sing in peta 
and they're singing devotional songs towards this goddess. So there's Bhai Lanaji amongst this group, but they say Bhai Lanaji has a separate shine on their face. And they stay up all night singing out to this goddess. And as the night passes, the night passes with them all singing. Everybody goes off their way. And so does Bai Lanaji. As Bai Lanaji is coming towards their house, they hear a beautiful voice. A voice singing, echoing in the air. And what is that voice saying? That voice has just finished Jabji Sahib Dabbat and now has started to do Kirtan. He's sitting on his own in his house, beautifully from his heart and he's singing the words of Guru Nanak. The words of Guru Nanak is on his tongue and he's singing Jet Sevye Sukh Paye So Sahib Sada Smaliye Jit Kita Paye Apana Saka Al Buri Kyo Kaliye These are the words that he's singing. Manda Mool Na Ki Chai De Lami Nadar Niha Liye Sahib Naal Na Haariye and Sahib Nana Hariye Te Veha Pasa Ta Liye Kich Lahe Upar Ka Liye These are the words of Guru Nanak Pacha. And there's a Sikh sitting in his home beautifully singing this to himself without any instruments. He's just singing out the words of Guru Nanak and Pai Lena is struck with these words. What is he hearing? He's singing Jit Sevya by serving such a person, such a being, Jit Sevya Sukh Paye, you obtain happiness. And everybody is looking for happiness. Pai Lanaji from a young age has been going to this mandir, going to Jwala Mukhi, but still didn't find that inner peace, that shanti that everybody is looking for. And now Pai Lanaji hears these words and saying, Jit Sevya Sukh Paye, by serving who? You obtain Sukha? So Sahib Sada Samaliye, then why do you not enshrine that master within your heart? Pailanaji is not only struck by the words, because there's many people today that sing Gurbani too, but it doesn't always necessarily strike us. But why today? Because this sect, when he was reading these words, he was Pijahoya, he was imbued in the love of Guru Nanak. He wasn't just singing dry. A sect called Pai Jod. Pai Lanaji, like a magnet, he started to go towards the house of Pai Jodhji. Pai Jodhji is still singing, Pai Lanaji go and sit in front of him. Pai Lanaji, now it's approximately 3 to 4 o'clock in the morning. It's Amrata Veleda Sama. They've been up anyway all night singing, but they were on their way home to do Ishnan now. And they've come and sat by Pai Jodh. Pai Jodhji has got their eyes closed and he's singing. And when they opened their eyes, they looked at Pai Lana sitting in front of them. <coughs> Pai Lana ji asked straight away, whose words are these? Who is it that says such beautiful words? Who is it that is saying by serving? Who are you talking about by serving who? Who are these words from? Where is he? Who has said these words? And what did Pai Jodhji say in return? Say the words are from somebody called Guru Nanak. Upon hearing these, this name, by Lahanaji go into this state of Samadhi. Just hearing the word Nanak, by Lahanaji couldn't move. For a moment, having time out, by Lahanaji comes back. And says, O Sikh of Guru Nanak, where is, where is Nanak now? I'm Pai Jodhji. And they reply, this is Nanak. This is Nanak is here. And Nanak is there. And Nanak is everywhere. This is Nanak is not bound to just a body. He is wherever you look. And Pai Lanaji asked, is he in a bodily form too? Is there somewhere I can actually go and meet him? 
And Pahi Jodji said, he said, they're in a place called Kartarpur Sahib. Guru Sikh Pyareo, look at the father. Look at the power. The power in singing Guru's Bani. But when you're singing Guru's Bani, he was actually singing the words with love from here. If somebody talks from here, if somebody talks from their mouth, only from their mouth, it will only reach somebody else's physical body, the outer part of their body. But if somebody talks from here, it will reach their heart too. If somebody talks from their heart, and it will reach somebody else's heart. Bhai Lehna Ji says, I want to meet Guru Nanak. From this day onwards, Bhai Lehna Ji's life didn't remain the same. From this day, Bhai Lehna Ji starts to live in the remembrance of Guru Nanak. They were counting these, those days down to see, to do darshan. And the second thing that happened to Bhai Lehna Ji. Bhai Lehna Ji was a trader and also had their own shops. Very successful. Very well off. Bhai Lehna Ji also had a shop and they used to sell atta. Another Sikh of Guru Nanak's come. Another Sikh of Guru Nanak comes to buy atta from Bhai Lehna Ji. Bhai Lehna Ji sees that this Sikh isn't very well off. As he hands over, as the Sikh of Guru Nanak, Bhai Lehna Ji doesn't know who he is. As he hands over his money to Pahi Lehnanji, Pahi Lehnanji looks, and the amount of atta that Pahi Lehnanji was supposed to give, the amount of flour that Pahi Lehnanji was supposed to give him, Pahi Lehnanji looks at his clothes, and he sees that he's not very well off. But Pahi Lehnanji no tarsa gayote. They took pity on him. What does Pahi Lehnanji do? As the Sikh is looking the other way, Pahi Lehnanji get another handful of atta and top up the amount he was supposed to take. As the Sikh turns around and he sees, and he sees, this is not how much I ordered. Bhai Lehna Ji said, it's okay. Please take it, this is from me. And the Sikh said, no, this is not what my Guru has taught me. My Guru has taught me only to take what I am owed. How much I have given you, only want that amount. Please do not give me any more than that. Bhai Lehna Ji again is struck. Bhai Lehna Ji said, who is your Guru? And the sex says in return, it's Guru Nanak. And Bhai Lehna Ji now falls into a state of Birag. He says, I must go and see this Guru. Now that time of year has come again. Where are they going to go and visit? And they're going to travel again to Jwalamukhi. Go to the north of India. And they get on horses to travel. The group comes together. But what has Bhai Lehna Ji got within their heart? They are saying, Okay, yes, I'm taking this group to Jawala Mukhi, but my heart is actually walking to Guru Nanak. My body is going to Kangra. But my heart is going to Guru Nanak. I will stop off on the way to see Guru Nanak. And Guru Sikh Pyaryo, remember one thing. Even today, if within your mind, you say, I'm going to go towards the Guru, not only to the Guru Kar, not only to Godur I'm talking about. If within your mind you think that I'm going to stay, take a step towards the Guru in my life, in my jivan, but you're doing it from your heart. By Lanaji's heart was walking towards Guru Nanak. Even today, if from inside we decide I want to take a step towards you, oh my Guru, the Guru himself will come and get you. The Guru will send Sangat to you. The Guru will send somebody. And they will grasp hold of your hand and take you. Bhai Lana Ji started to walk. But what does Bhai Gurdas Ji say? Charan saran gur ek panda jai chal. Sat gur koot panda aage hoi leet hai. Charan saran gur ek panda jai chal. Bhai Gurdas Ji saying, even if you take one step towards the Guru, but it's got to be from here. Take that step. Charan saran gur ek panda jaye chal. Ikko hi kadam pat. Just take one step towards him. Sat gur koot. Koot means millions. Not two. He doesn't double it. 
millions. Satgur Kot Panda, Panda means steps. Way, the path, that rasta. He'll come to receive you. Satgur Kot Panda, Aage Hoye Leet Hai, he'll come forward and receive you. Over here, Pai Lena Ji Torpe Ne Khadur Sahib Toon. Jare Ne Kartarpur Sahib No, and going towards Kartarpur Sahib. But that love and affection that Pai Lena Ji has gone with, Guru Nanak Paatshah is sitting in Kartarpur Sahib. Pai, Guru Nanak Paatshah is sitting in the Dharam Sala. What we call today a Gurdwara. And suddenly, Satgur Kot Panda, the Guru will take millions of steps and Guru Nanak today gets up. Stands up. Amata Salakhni says, Oh my husband, why do you suddenly get up like this? Because Guru Nanak says the strings of love have been pulled. The one who is going to take over is on his way. Mata Salakhni didn't understand this. Guru Nanak Padshah himself now has started to walk towards Pai Lena. Pai Lena is coming on the horse. I remember when Pai Guru Nanak Padshah came back to Kartarpur Sahib. When Guru Nanak Padshah came back to Kartarpur, roughly they were about 60 years old. And Pai Gurdas Ji says, Fair Baba Aya Kartarpur. Pek Udasi Sagal Utara. Pahar Sansari Kapde. Manji Betha Kia Avatara. Pai Gurdas Ji says, When Guru Nanak Padshah Ji came back to Kartarpur Sahib, Fair Baba Aya Kartarpur. Pek Udasi. Pek means the clothes, the robes. Because when Guru Nanak Padshah left Sultanpur, Guru Nanak Pacha wore the robes of a saint. Pai Gurdas Ji tell us of that as well. Babe Pek Banaya Udasi Ki Reet Chalai When Guru Nanak Dev Ji left Sultanpur to go and do prachar, Pai Gurdas Ji says, Babe Pek Banaya They wore the robes of a saint. But when Guru Nanak Pacha came back from the Udasi, when they came back from doing prachar, and they came back and settled down in Kartarpur Sahib with their family, and then Fair Baba Aya Kurtarpur, Pek Udasi Sagal Utara, they took off the robes of a saint. What did they wear? Peher Sansari Kapde. They wore a normal householder's clothes. Ms. Nanak Pacha came back here and did Kheti Bari. They did farming when they came to Kartarpur Sahib. So they're wearing normal clothes, not the clothes of a saint. And this is all. There in black and white for us by Pai Gurdas Ji. Pai Lana Ji on a horse and Guru Nanak Dev Ji. Satgur Kot Panda Aage Hoye Lete is going to receive Pai Lana. Pai Lana like a magnet has been pulled. And the horse is automatically filled as if it's going towards that direction. But as the Galiya, as the streets of Kartar, of the streets of Kartarpur now are getting narrow. Pai Lana just has a thought, just a minor thought. Which way do I go now? Pai Lana but doesn't know. And who appears? Just with that thought, Guru Nanak stands in front of this horse. And says, let me show you the way. Pai Lana Ji. From his inside it felt this sense of peace. This vibration from this being. A very humbling being. And Guru Nanak Dev Ji holds on to the, to the strings of the horse and is directing Pai Lehna. As Guru Nanak Dev Ji brings Pai Lehna Ji's horse outside to the Taramsala, the Godwara, Guru Nanak Pacha helps Pai Lehna Ji tie the horse outside. As Pai Lehna Ji continued to tie the horse, Guru Nanak Dev Ji go back go inside, through the back, the other way, the other route. And Pai Guru Nanak Pacha comes and sits on their throne. Manji Baita Kiya Avatara. Sat on a manji, because this is what Pai Guru Das Ji say. Guru Nanak Dev Ji comes and sits on a manji. Pai Lana Ji, when they walked in Guru Sikh Pyareo, Pai Lana Ji didn't put their head up. They had their face down towards Guru Nanak Pacha Ji's charan. So over here, they cannot see Guru Nanak Pachaji's chair on their face. Pai Lana Ji walk in. 
ਤਾਂ ਭਾਈ ਲਹਿਣਾ ਜੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹ ਦੇ ਚਰਨਾਂ ਉੱਪਰ ਢਹਿ ਪਏ ਦੇ ਫੋਲ ਅਤ ਪਾਵਨ ਪਵਿੱਤਰ ਚਰਨ ਆਪ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹ ਭਾਈ ਲਹਿਣਾ ਜੀ ਸਟੇਜ ਦੇ ਐਂਡ ਡਸਨਟ ਫੀਲ ਲਾਈਕ ਟੂ ਲਿਫਟ ਦੇ ਹੈਡ ਅਪ ਕਿਸ ਗੁਰਸਿੱਖ ਪਹਿਰੋ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਭਾਈ ਲਹਿਣਾ ਜੀ ਨੇ ਆਪਣਾ ਨਾ ਸੀਸ ਨਵਾਇਆ ਉਸ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਵਿੱਚ ਭਾਈ ਲਹਿਣੇ ਨੇ ਇੱਕ ਦਿਨ ਸਮਾ ਜਾਣਾ ਭਾਈ ਲਹਿਣਾ ਜੀ ਅਪਨ ਲਿਫਟਿੰਗ ਦੇ ਹੈਡ they had their eyes closed and they've got their hands clasped together and they look up and they open their eyes but when pai lena ji opens their eyes pai lena ji shocked and they suddenly move back pai lena ji's eyes are filled with water and saying oh guru nanak i've put so much weight on my head it was you that came to get me the guru was on foot and i was on a horse what have i done how am i going to cope with this weight the guru showed me the direction on foot and i sit on a horse guru nanak pacha smiles and says don't worry upon asking many questions of where they have come from guru nanak dev ji pai lena still completely in shock thinking what has happened but guru nanak pacha says tell me your name very quietly they say lehna lehna meaning to take and guru nanak pacha says this is why you was on the horse and i was on foot kis tusi sato kuch lehna assi tada kuch dena kende lehn wale kende ghodyan te chadke aunde hunde ne and they those that are going to take something they come on horses and those that are going to give just like a father giving his daughter away he is always humbled he is always in nimrata guru nanak pacha looking at themselves like this he says i'm going to give something away so of course i'm going to be on foot but pai lena ji not realizing that guru nanak dev ji is going to give themselves to pai lena and make them into they ang into their limb by lena ji not not now the physical head they put in the charan of guru nanak but the mind now does not want to leave the mind can now never leave guru nanak and the physical body does not even want to leave guru nanak the sangat that had come with by lena they said come on let us go now we need to go to jwalamukhi by lena said i'm done i cannot go anywhere now I have found everything. That sukh that I heard from Pai Jod, they must have been referring to a Kalpur Kwai Guru, but I found that sukh in Guru Nanak himself. I can't go anywhere now. Some of them stayed with Pai Lena, some of them went on. Pai Lena ji stayed for some days. After staying for some days, Pai Lena ji returns back to Khadur Sahib. But now when they return back to Khadur Sahib, But now when they return back to Khadur Sahib Pai Lena ji's mind is now in Guru Nanak Pasha ji's charan Hun Pai Lena ji da utthe man nahi tekda Khadur vich Every moment thinking of Guru Nanak so then Pai Lena ji decides I will go I will go and serve Guru Nanak But one thing to remember Pai Lena ji didn't think in their mind I'm going to go and serve Guru Nanak and become something Pai Lena ji didn't think I'm going to go and serve Guru Nanak so I can obtain something so I want something in return because Pai Lena ji went seva kart hoye neh kami neh kami meaning completely desireless completely desireless why do we come to the guru kar we do seva we do everything but why is it still we do not find happiness because we're filled with desires but when Pai Lena ji left seva kart hoye neh kami they are on their way to serve guru nanak without any desire not wanting anything in return because pai lena ji left without any desire pai lena ji became guru nanak himself because he went without because guru harjan dev ji says seva karte hoye neh kami tis ko hot 
prapat swami because then those they obtain why guru themselves if you serve without any desire because if you have desire your desire will eat into your seva there will be no seva left so now when pai lehna ji gets ready to go back to kadur sahab mata khivi ji comes this is why do you want to go there you can if you want to li- live a righteousness life if you want to live a religious life why don't you do here why don't you do this here in kadur sahab you don't have to go work why don't you give up your trade whatever you want to do stay in the family and do it these sadhus they don't know these saints don't know they haven't got a family pai lana ji said you are mistaken he has two sons where i am going he has a wife where i am going he wears normal clothes like we wear he isn't like the rest i've never seen anyone like him i've seen many i've never seen anyone like guru nanak jaise jalm hai kamal niralam he is like that lotus flower he lives in the chak- chikkad he lives in the mud he lives in the muck he lives in the grist he lives in the family life but is completely untouched by that mud that more doesn't touch him he's like the lotus flower that is what i have seen of guru nanak jaise jalm hai kamal din alam murgai na asan hai and pai lena ji and over when mata ki bhi heard this she felt satisfied that he's also a householder he also has a family he will understand him and over here just before pai lena ji is about to leave remember they're very well off but now they do not get upon their horse many people come who worked for pai lena said i will take you and this is no this journey i'll do on my own and this is i'm going to take some pet of guru nanak just like here sometimes when we come in front of guru granth sahib ji some decide to put some money in front of guru granth sahib ji it's called peta it peta means i can't really give you anything i'm just reminding myself what is yours anyway this money i put before you oh guru i'm just reminding myself kabir mera mujh mein kuch nahi jo kuch hai so tera it's yours anyway i just want to remind myself that pailana ji goes to the shop and they go and get a cube of salt ek loon di dali it's very strange many people will think why would you take that to guru nanak and they bring one mat so they've got two things ek pand chakli loon di so they've tied up this cube of salt on their head and in their arm they've got a mat and a cup and a few clothes but because they were quite well off Pai Lehna Ji has got a beautiful dress on, a beautiful set of clothing on. Very shiny. Pai Lehna Ji set off. As they reach, as they reach Kartarpur Sahib, they go straight to the Taram Sala. They go straight to where Guru Nanak Paatshah sits. And they can't wait to do Darshan of Guru Nanak again. But when they go to Guru Nanak, this time Guru Nanak is not there. And who is there? is mata sulakhni mata sulakhni takes the the salt from pai lana ji and they take the mat from pai lana ji and take some of their clothes of pai lana ji saying where is guru nanak and she says he's there he's out doing the in in the farms he's out farming he's out working and straight away pai lana ji runs over to the farm never before has pai lana ji done farming and they're looking at everybody looking at the sikhs they look at guru nanak themselves and pai lehna ji this is complete innocence koi chatrai naal nahi leke aaye they have not come with any of their own cleverness apni sianap ghar chhad ke aaye pai lehna ji they have never done farming before what type of innocence has pai lehna ji come with the type of innocence that is in bhagatan na everybody's head of bhagat tan nai guru granth sahib ji maharaj that type of innocence pai lana ji has come with when bhagat tan ji had darshan of akal purkh wahi guru ji and wahi guru ji was smiling and laughed at bhagat tan na sezo tanne sezo tanne kende mainu koi aarti suna tan na ji says 
ਆਈ ਡੂ ਨਾਟ ਨੋ ਐਨੀ ਆਰਤੀ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਤਾਂ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਸਿਸ ਮੈਂ ਤਾਂ ਅਨਪੜਿਆ ਸਿਸ ਆਈ ਡੋਨਟ ਨੋ ਐਨੀ ਆਰਤੀ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਬਟ ਆਈ ਡੂ ਨੋ ਵਨ ਥਿੰਗ ਆ ਡੋਨਟ ਨੋ ਐਨੀ ਆਰਤੀ ਪਰ ਮੈਂ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਆਰਤਾ ਸੁਣਾ ਦਿੰਦਾ ਆ ਭਗਤ ਨਾ ਜੀ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਆਰਤ ਨਹੀਂ ਆਉਂਦੀ ਆ ਡੋਨਟ ਨੋ ਆਰਤੀ ਬਟ ਆਈ ਕੈਨ ਡੂ ਐਨ ਆਰਤਾ ਫॉर ਯੂ ਐਂਡ ਸਿਸ ਗੋਪਾਲ ਤੇਰਾ ਆਰਤਾ ਇਸ ਇਸ ਗੋਪਾਲ ਔ ਗੋਪਾਲ ਗੋਪਾਲ ਮੀਨਿੰਗ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਇਸ ਇਸ ਗੋਪਾਲ ਤੇਰਾ ਆਰਤਾ ਐਂਡ ਇਸ ਇਸ ਬਟ ਆਈ ਡੂ ਨੋ ਵਨ ਥਿੰਗ ਫॉर ਸ਼ੋ ਭਗਤ ਨਾ ਜੀ ਸੈਸ ਜੋ ਜਨ ਤੁਮਰੀ ਭਗਤ ਕਰਨ ਤੇ ਤਿਨ ਕੇ ਕਾਜ ਸਵਾਰਤਾ ਇਸ ਇਸ ਵਿਚ ਐਵਰ ਸੈਵਨ ਜੋ ਜਨ ਤੁਮਰੀ ਭਗਤ ਕਰਨ ਤੇ ਹੂ ਐਵਰ ਡਿਵੋਟਸ ਥਿਮ ਸੈਲਫਸ ਟੂ ਯੂ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਆਈ ਨੋ ਥਿਸ ਫॉर ਸ਼ੋ ਤੁਮਰੇ ਕਾਜ ਸਵਾਰਤਾ ਵਾਟ ਯੂ ਡੂ ਫॉर ਦੇਮ ਇਸ ਤੂੰ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਕਾਜ ਤੂੰ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਕੰਮ ਸਾਰੇ ਸਵਾਰ ਦਿੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਯੂ ਅਰੇਂਜ ਆਲ ਦੇ ਫੇਸ ਐਵਰੀਥਿੰਗ ਯੂ ਮੇਕ ਗੁੱਡ ਫॉर ਦੇਮ ਹੂ ਐਵਰ ਡਿਵੋਟਸ ਥਿਮ ਸੈਲਫ ਇਨ ਦੈਟ ਇਨਸੈਂਸ ਪਾਈ ਲੈਣਾ ਜੀ ਹੈਜ਼ ਕਮ ਪਾਈ ਲੈਣਾ ਜੀ ਇਜ਼ ਲੁਕਿੰਗ ਐਂਡ ਵਾਟ ਆਰ ਦੇ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਇੱਥੇ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹ ਹੁਣੇ ਇੱਥੇ ਨਦੀਨ ਪਟ ਰਹੇ ਹਨ ਨਦੀਨ ਮੀਨ ਦ ਵੀਡਸ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਟੇਕਿੰਗ ਦ ਹੈਵ ਗਰੋਨ ਅਰਾਉਂਡ ਦ ਪਲਾਂਟਸ ਆਫ ਅ ਰਾਈਸ ਪਲਾਂਟ ਸੋ ਥੇਰ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਰਾਈਸ ਪਲਾਂਟ ਦੈਟ ਹੈਵ ਬੀਨ ਗਰੋਨ ਐਂਡ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਟੇਕਿੰਗ ਦ ਵੀਡਸ ਆਊ ਅਲੋਂਗਸਾਈਡ ਐਂਡ ਪਾਈ ਲੈਣਾ ਜੀ ਦੇ ਡਿਨ ਆਸਕ ਦੇ ਡਿਨ ਵੇਟ ਐਂਡ ਦੇ ਸਟਾਰਟ ਟੂ ਗੋ ਐਂਡ ਡੂ ਥਿਸ ਵਰਕ ਐਜ਼ ਵੈਲ ਬਟ ਪਾਈ ਲੈਣਾ ਜੀ ਦੇ ਹੈਵ ਨੈਵਰ ਡਨ ਫਾਰਮਿੰਗ ਬਿਫੋਰ ਸੋ ਥੇ ਡੋਨਟ ਨੋ ਦ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਸ ਥੇ ਡੋਨਟ ਨੋ ਦ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਸ ਬਿਟਵੀਨ ਦ ਪਲਾਂਟ ਐਂਡ ਦੇ ਡੋਨਟ ਨੋ ਦ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਸ ਬਿਟਵੀਨ the actual weeds that are growing around they were supposed to be taking out the weeds but pai lana ji takes out some weeds and starts to take out the f- plant the rice plant as well and they put them together guru nanak pacha looks up and smiles and this is purkha this is what guru nanak pacha used to call pai lana this is purkha kende eh tera kam nahi kende this work isn't for you purkha you are not here to do this i remember i say this every time we go through guru's history guru di ek ek gal vich raaz ya there's a secret hidden between each and everything the guru says guru does not speak for without reason guru says guru padshah says kende lene a kende purkha kende eh tera kam nahi kende lene a tu patan nahi aaya tu laun aaya hai you are not here to pull people out you are here to plant lena oh purkha what are they trying to say to pai lena you are here to plant seeds in the future you are going to create so many you are going to plant so many things like gurmukhi at the panti akhar guru angad dev ji put together you are going to be planting things you are not going to be pulling things out guru nanak says so pai lana says then what shall i do this is gather all the weeds tie them up and put them on your head and go and give them to the dungar go and give them to the cow pai lana ji straight away say sat bachan didn't question it once pai lana ji remember they came with their best clothes a nice shining kurta now the mud is dripping from the weeds that pai lana ji imagine this pai lana ji in a complete innocence they've got all these weeds tied upon their head but it's full of mud and it's dripping through their face and through their clothes they come back to the taramsala they come back to the home and mata sulakni comes gurunanak pacha ji's wife she puts her hands together and says to her husband she says to gurunanak she says oh guru she says why do you do this to people he's come with this nice new dress look what you've done to him you make him carry this pond this part of mud on his head and you ruined his clothes and gunanak pacha says no and says sulakhni look deeper look further do you not see what i see i don't see i don't see a bundle of weeds on his head i see a canopy over his head look far into the future i not only see a canopy over his head he's not carrying the weight of these weeds instead he's going to be carrying the weight of the world he's going to be carrying the weight of the sangat and she says then what about his clothes why do you make his clothes dirty and gunanak pacha says no look past the mud i don't see mud i see splashes of saffron saffron is like 
an orange yellow color. It comes from a plant. And Guru Nanak Pacha says, I see the color of love. I see the splashes of love on his dress. This is how Bailana comes to me. Look beyond this. And now Bailana Ji's Barkhan start. The tests now start for Bailana from this day onwards. Gursik Pyareo, when Mata Salakini asked, says, Oh, my husband, oh, Guru Nanak, why does he bring salt with him? And Guru Nanak Pacha says, This salt, what does it mean? I'll tell you. Pai Gurdas Ji says, Gur Sikhi Barik hai, Sil Chattan Fikki, Trikhi Khande Taar hai, Walho Nikki. What does this mean? Gur Sikhi Barik hai. Barik means this path is very fine. To walk this path of Sikhi, it's a very fine path. This is Gur Sikhi Barik hai, Sil Chattan Fikki. Sil means stone, Fikki means tasteless. Sil Chattan Fikki. When you chat this, when you try and taste this, if somebody licks a stone, it's completely tasteless. This is what this salt means. Salakni so said, Mata Salakni says, I still do not understand. Guru Nanak Pacha is saying, the soul is saying, I'm not here for an easy ride. I know that when I do my seva, when I first start serving, this isn't going to be like sugar. This path isn't going to be sweet. Guru Sikh Pyaru, when you first come upon, upon this path, Waking up Amrit Vela, it might not necessarily feel sweet. It might feel like a drag. It might feel like hard work. And it takes a while for it to start becoming sweet. But because first, Sil Chattan Fikki, it's like the salt. It's not sugar straight away. It's hard work. Pai Lanaji wasn't here for an easy ride. What does the mat mean? The mat means... That I'm not here to sleep on nice comfortable beds. I'm here to serve. What else does that salt mean? That salt means, I'll tell it through a little story. There was about six, seven cubes of salt on a beach. And they start to talk to each other. One of the cubes say to the other cube of salt, they say, do you know how deep the ocean is? I says, no, I'd love to know though. They've all come from there, remember this. The salt comes from the sea. He says, I'd love to know how deep the ocean is. And he says, how are we going to find out? One of them puts his hands up. He says, I'll go. I'll jump in. And then I'll come back and tell you guys how deep it is. He says, okay, we'll be waiting here. So he goes off towards the water. The salt, the cube of salt, he jumps in. He's big, remember when he starts? As he's going deeper, he starts to dissolve. He gets deeper and he gets smaller. He gets deeper and he gets smaller. Eventually, there's nothing left of the salt. He merges into the ocean. He doesn't return. Baba has mund, na janiya hai. Kehane wale tere rehe sumai. Pailana ji is saying through this soul that I've come to dissolve in you, O Guru Nanak. We might start with this, when we start on this path, we might be full of ego, big like that soul. But that's what Guru does. Guru takes our ego and throws it out. This is what Pailana has come for, to have his ego thrown out, to dissolve into Guru Nanak. So there is nothing left of him. When you start to praise Vaheguru Akalapurk, you'll realize you can never get to the end of Vaheguru. Instead, you can just absorb in him. Praising him, absorbing him. Khair, Guru Nanak Paachadiya Parkha Shuru Hunya. Pagat Kabir Ji's Bani, they says a Kabir Kasauti Ram ki chutha teke na koe. Ram kasauti so sahe jo mar jiva hoe. Only those are going to be able to bear these tests, the ones that kill themselves from inside. 
कबीर कसौटी राम की झूठा टिकने को है द फॉल्स आर नॉट गन बी एल्प टू टेक दे आर स्टे दे सोनी समी लाइक पाई लैना द फर्स्ट हैस्ट फर्स्ट परख स्टार्ट फॉर पाई लैना गुरु नानक पातशाह गौ टू द रिवर कुल रावी पो का महीना आया ठंडी का समा आया पो विच इज जस्ट फैसट इट्स वन ऑफ द कोलडिस्ट मंथस गुरु नानक पातशाह गौ इन टू द रावी गौ इन टू द लेक टू बेद इन करतारपुर साहब सिख सारे बार उड़ीक कर रहे हैं पातशाह एवरी ऑल द सिख्स आर आउट साइड बाई इंग फॉर गुरु नानक पातशाह एंड इट स्टार्ट टू हैल एज इट स्टार्ट टू हैल ऑल द सिख स्टार्ट टू स्कट है सम गो एंड स्टैंड अंडर ट्रीज भाई बुढ़ा जी उसमंग स्टेम टू पर भाई लैना नो ही डजेंट मूव एन इंच भाई लैना जी इज ड्रेंचड द हैल्स आर कमिंग एंड हेंग भाई लैना जी they didn't move when guru nanak patsha returns from ravi this is lena to see ni gaya why didn't you leave pai lena ji says why i don't understand why should i have left guru nanak dev ji said it's hailing pai lena ji said i didn't realize they didn't even realize it was hailing what is this saying often when we hear this pangti jo to prem khelan ka chau we think of baba deep singh guru sikh pyareo pai lena ji is also the arth the true translation of this pangti jo to prem khelan ka chau sir dhar tali gali meri ao et marg pair trije sir dije kaan na kije kaan means then do not bother about the world because what has started to happen when pai lena ji has come here pai lena ji's family starts to talk he had everything he had a good business going he had a family why should he leave everything and go and serve a saint and go and serve a sadhu why should he go through this look at what he's doing to himself look at his clothes and guru nanak patsha is telling the world doesn't matter how much it hells on you do not bother about the hells which hells do not bother when you walk upon the path of the guru and what the world says sir dj when you give your head kaan na ki je do not bother about what the world says this is what pai lena ji is teaching us first park that same night the rain continues there's a wall in the house of guru nanak that falls and guru nanak patsha says guru nanak patsha says He said to the sons, "Come on, let's put this wall up. Let's put this wall back up." And Baba Shri Chand says, "Oh, Father, he says we have many people, we have many labourers in the day. It doesn't make sense to start building this wall at night." And Guru Nanak Pacha looks around, looks towards the other Sikhs, and they say the same thing. He says, "Oh, Guru Nanak, they say we can make a nice straight wall in the morning." we can't even see anything at this time of the night it doesn't make sense to start as guru nanak patsha as guru nanak patsha is turning the head towards pai lena pai lena runs remember has never done any type of work like this before pai lena ji starts to make the wall as pai lena ji is building this wall it comes out crooked it's night they've never done this type of work for before and guru nanak patsha looks and laughs and says lena knock it down please what a mess and what does pai lena ji do they knock it down without even a thought they knock it down they build it again gunan dev ji says no and everybody else is getting frustrated but not pai lena ji since what is father making him do four times pai lena ji builds that wall after building that wall fourth time Mata Sulakhni speaks. Guru Nanak Dev Ji's wife speaks. And says, "Oh Lenya, why are you becoming like Guru Nanak? He's beparwa, he's carefree. You are becoming just like that. You becoming carefree as well. You are becoming crazy. He is like this. He does this to people. He'll keep making you do it all night. Why do you not just stop?" 
Pailana ji says, Pailana ji says, I have no concern with the task that is given to me. Remember this. Pailana ji says, because today, if we think about this in our lives, it's very difficult. Very difficult. Because our siyana comes forward. And we, th- we forget, it's not, and we forget it's about the bachan. It's about earning the word of the Guru. It's got nothing to do what we've been asked to do. What we've been asked to do doesn't need to make sense. It doesn't need to add up, doesn't need to have any logic. All we need to do is earn the Guru's word. That's it. Pai Lana Ji says, I have no concern with the wall. My relationship isn't with the wall. My relation is with the Guru's word. If he tells me all night, I'll keep doing it all night. And over here, what has been produced inside Pai Lana Ji? There's a Bani now starting to be produced inside Pai Lana Ji. Jada pehla slok cha rea na Pai Lana Ji ne jada Guru Angad Dev Ji banaya. Guru Angad Dev Ji said, Jis piyare siyo ne ho, tis aage mar chaliye. Trek jeevan sansar taake paache jeevana. Pai Lana Ji, this has been produced inside. Jis piyare siyo ne ho piyara, meaning beloved, referring to Guru Nanak. Jis piyare siyo ne ho, ne ho meaning love. Tis aage mar chaliye. I die in front of that love. Die meaning my old me. Now that I have come to you, I kill my old self. Guru Sikhpir, we come to the Guru sometimes, but we still want to keep our old self and just do a little bit of what the Guru says as well. But no, this is not. Truly, Pai Lana Ji taught us Sikhi. There's many people today. I'm a Sikh. I'm a Sikh. You can say a hundred thousand times. A Sikh is only that who follows the Guru's word. It doesn't matter how many times you shout it out. You can get the number plates for your cars. You can put Singh on there. You can put a big khanda in your cars. We can do whatever we want. Aidani Sikhi kamai jandi. Bas Sikhi Guru da bachan kamake Sikhi kamai jandi ya. Sikhi ta kosh hori ya. Pai lena jine asal roop vech Sikhi kamai. Pai lena jine have taught us how to command a bachan. Aithe jis piyare si nehu is starting to be born inside of Pai lena ji now. Completely apni sari siyan apshad ke. And now, Mata Sulakhani has starting to see. Mata Sulakhani is thinking that he is starting to, that Guru Nanak Pata has started to favor. He started to favor Pai Lana Ji over his own sons. Mata Sulakhani is thinking that this isn't right. Guru Nanak Pacha continues. Guru Nanak Pacha continues to do their Gautak Guru Sikh Bihar. Karke Mata Salakhani de Manavichahe Shanka Agina because Mata Salakhani had this thought within her mind. Guru Nanak Pacha knew. So the next day, Guru Nanak Pacha says, Aju. They call everyone over and Guru Nanak Pacha holds a coin in their hand. And Guru Nanak Pacha says, They show everyone the coin and they says, What is in my hand? And Baba Shiri Chand. Almost laughing, saying, Father, it's a coin. Everybody can see what is in your hand. Everybody says the same thing. Some with a little bit more fear. And saying it, saying, Padshah, There's a coin in your hand, Guru Nanak. And Guru Nanak Padshah looks over towards by Lana. Says, Lana, Purkha, Kani Nanak, De Hathi Vich Ki Hai. I have not that much strength to say what is in the hands of Guru Nanak. Guru Nanak, the whole world is in your hand. The world we see before our eyes is in your hand. The world hereafter is in your hands. Guru Nanak, you hold the power of the whole of the creation in your hand. How can I tell you what is in your hand, Guru Nanak? Guru Nanak turns around and says, Sulakhani, do you see now? You think that I favor him? 
you can see it for yourself. Gursik Biaryo. Due to there was a slight drought in food. Tanak de nange sege sangta vaste changi tara prasada ni ban sakya. The crops had dried out. And Guru Nanak Pacha says and looks at everybody and says we need to get some food together for the Sangat. Apa Sangta vaste kojna koj phala paena vaste jurur tiyar kariye. And they say, Chal Shri Chand, they says, go Shri Chand. It says, go on. Go upon that tree. We've all heard the Sakhiyam, but what is hidden behind the Sakhiyam? This says, go on Shri Chand. Go on, climb that tree and shake that tree. And let the food for the Sangha drop from that tree. And sometimes Guru Nanak Pacha would say something to Pahilena. And then at the same time, in the same breath, they would say to Pahilena, where are you going? Let's look at Pahilena. What was truly was Pahilena? Baba Shri Chand turns around and says, Father, there is no fruits on this tree. It's not even the season, it's off season, Father. There's nothing on this tree. Everybody says the same thing. But as Pai Lanaji is about to walk towards the tree, sometimes Guru Nanak would do this. This isn't always written in books. Some things we find from Gurmak Pyare, some things we find from Mahapurks. As Pai Lanaji is about to walk towards that tree, Guru Nanak Pacha is saying, Lanaya, tu kidar no challa? He says, Lanaya, where are you going? Pai Lanaji puts their hands together. If it was somebody like me, I would have said, you told me to go towards the tree. Where do you think I'm going? But not Pailana. Pailana ji turned around and says, this says, Guru Nanak, Guru Nanak, I Guru Nanak, I am mistaken. I've made a mistake. I do not know where I am going. On three pabbe, Pailana ji ne apni sikhi kamai. Pabba pul gaya. Pabba pala, pabba pana. Remember these three pabbe. Kende grieb nawaj mein pol gaya. Baut aukhiya hai cheej karni. Baut aukhiya. I'll give you a very small example. It was only last week. I was reading about Pai Lana, but to bring Pai Lana into your own life is so difficult. I took a food, a plate plate of food up for my wife and on her chips I put Tabasco sauce she doesn't like Tabasco sauce I made a mistake it was late it was 10 o'clock at night so I was tired I've taken the plate to her she takes the chip she puts the chip in her mouth and says this has got Tabasco sauce on it I'm like so what am I layer color but no, if I had taken Pailana into my life, my first instinct, without even a thought, naturally it should have been my Pailana. This isn't only to do with the Guru. This is how far I am from the Guru. This isn't only to do with the, this isn't only to earn when you come into the Guru's house. But this is to do with our family too. With the people that we live with. With our partners. With our mother, with our father, with our children. If we can bring these pabbe into our lives, we'll be living in Swarg. Pailana ji said, Can the Grieb Nawaj map all gaya? And they said, Can the, can the Grieb Nawaj, Jovi to see Kardehu, can they opala? Whatever you do is good. Pailanaji walks towards the tree. Amata Salakni said, Can they learn where, where are you going? Can they, I've said this before. To me, it's not about whether there is fruits on that tree. It's not about if there is material on that tree. For me, if my guru has said that there is fruit on that tree, I have so much faith in my guru, there is fruit on that tree. By Lana's faith made fruit drop from that tree, his faith. 
And that's what this path is about. It's all about our faith. Kite prosa karke ta vekho guru te. Te ki koj nahi milda. Pai Lana ji gai. They climbed on that tree. And from Pai Lana ji's prosa, from their faith, from earning these ten pabbe, fruit dropped from that tree. The whole sangat ate that day. Hadn't eaten for three days. Taan Pai Lana. Taan sikhi Pai Lana ji di. This is Sikhi. Pabba pul gya. Pabba pala. Pala meaning whatever you say is good. Guru Nanak, it doesn't need to make sense. Whatever you say is good. Pabba pana. Everything is in your will, Guru Nanak. Everything. The next Sakhi, Pabba pana. Everything is in your will, Guru Nanak. Guru Sikh Pera as. Sama hoya adi raat da. Baba Buddha ji ne kain de anasar sava pehre renda sega raat da. So there's one and a quarter sections of the night remaining. I'm not going to go into the whole peher and there's three hours in each section of the day. But sava peher. So there's one and a quarter section of the night remaining till morning starts. Again, so Rata da Sama and Guru Nanak Pacha gets up. And says, Lenya. And they called everybody in. They called Lena, they called all the Sikhs in. They go, go and wash my clothes. They said, go and wash my clothes. And everybody says, Guru Nanak Pacha doesn't make sense to wash your clothes at this time of the night. We've got a Tobi, we've got somebody that washes the clothes. And then Guru Nanak Pacha says, Oh, is it not the right time now? He says, go outside and Buddha ji, can they buddhya, can they wake? What is the time? Can they sava pahar, can they raat le, rendiya. And Pai Lena ji, can they tusi? Can they grieb nawaj, oh Guru Nanak? Can they, how much ever night has passed in your hukam? That much has passed. Whatever is remaining, is remaining. Because Guru Nanak, if you want, you can even change that. So how can I say that is there is only a one and a quarter left? Because Guru Nanak, you can do anything. Prabhupada, bin sastera. Okay, if you want, you can keep somebody alive, alive even without breath. Who am I to tell about the night? Baba, pana. Guru Nanak, everything is in your pana. Everything is happening in your will. Guru Sikh Bihario, this is Bailena. This is Sikhi. As the Parkha continue, I'm going to cut down a few because time is coming to an end as well. As the Parkha continue, Guru Nanak Padsha get dressed in completely ripped clothes. Guru Nanak Padsha has a club in their hand. It's like a stick. Guru Nanak Padsha comes into the Sangat and the Sangat get ready to do Matate to Guru Nanak Pacha. But instead, what does Guru Nanak Pacha do? Guru Nanak start, Pacha start to beat the Sangat with this club. And Sangat start to run away. And as Guru Nanak Pacha does this, they start to walk towards the jungles. And some of the Sangat starts to follow Guru Nanak. These Sakyu you may hear in very different various ways but it's not about the exact details of the Sakhi it's about what Guru Nanak was teaching us in these Sakhi many of the Sangat follows Guru Nanak into the jungle but Guru Nanak Pacha still turns around and starts to beat some of the Sangat Guru Nanak Pacha starts to throw things at the Sangat Kar, like I said you know the Sakhi Pai Lana Ji Kalle Rage only Pai Lana Ji is left behind Guru Nanak Pacha In front, there is a body just about to be cremated. There is a white cloth over the body. Guru Nanak Pacha is walking towards that, white, towards that body that's about to be cremated. Guru Sikh Pera, just before the rest of the Sangat left, and there was just by Lena, Guru Nanak Pacha said to the few that was remaining, this says, go towards that body and start to eat the body. 
They say go towards the body and start to eat the body. It's at this point the rest of the Sangha left. But Bhai Lanaji continues. Bhai Lanaji gets towards the body, there's a chadar over the body. Bhai Lanaji turns around and looks at Guru Nanak Patsha. Guru Nanak Patsha is saying, Kane Lanaya, what do you wait for? Bhai Lanaji says, I'm waiting for your instruction. Which part of the body do you want me to start from? Oh Guru Nanak, do you want me to start from the center? Guru Nanak Pacha Ji says, start from the center. As Bhai Lana Ji starts to lift this white cloth from this body, what does Bhai Lana Ji see? There is no body underneath here. And our history writes, Gyani Gyan Singh writes, Bhai Veer Singh writes, Satpeer Singh writes, everybody writes this. Instead, what do they find underneath? They find Prashad, Kada Prashad. Remember this, Kada Prashad. There's two words, there's prashad and then there's prasad. This prashad that you take, that is a blessing, and you take with your hands, clasped together. And that's a blessing, a physical blessing that you take. There's only the difference of half a letter. There's a full rara and then there's a adda rara. There's prashad, underneath the sasa there's a bindi, making it prashad which we take, the deg in our hands, and then there's prasad. Like you see, gur prasad, like we spoke about last week. Prasad, which is spelt with half a rara in the pair, and no bindi in the sasa, so sasa, so it's prasad. Gur Sikh Pyareo, this is when the true prasad, this is when the true kirpa now is happening. By Lana Ji, just like that dead body, had killed their old self completely. There was nothing left of Pai Lanaji inside now. There was no I left at all. It was the inside of Pai Lanaji that had become dead. So instead, when your inside becomes dead, that's when true prasad happens, when true kirpa happens. That prasad was saying that now you have the inner prasad, the inner grace, the inner blessing. You are filled with that. Gurnanak Pacha. He's going to tell now the world what Guru Angad Dev Ji is going to do, what Bhai Lana Ji is going to do in the future. Guru, La, Guru Nanak Pacha goes to do Ishnan. When they go to do Ishnan, they've got this Gotori with them. And this is what Guru Nanak Pacha would use to fill the water and bathe. As Guru Nanak Pacha is bathing today, there's a Gandhi Nali, where all the dirty water when people have bathed, is running alongside and Guru, and Guru Nanak Pacha takes this Gatori, takes this little Gadvi and they throw it into the Gandhi Nali. They throw it into this running dirty water. And then Guru Nanak Pacha throws it themselves and turns around and says, Oh son, Oh Baba Shri Chand, saying to Shri Chand, go and pick up the Gatori, go and pick up that pot. And he says, Father, this isn't the work for us to do. Because in that in them days, you know the Nalia, you know the like all the the dirty water and stuff and the waste of people that and as they would say the untouchables that they would call would come and clear these Nalia out. And they say, Father, you know that we don't do this work. We're sons of a guru. We'll go and call the people that do this work by Lanaji jump into the Gandhi Nali. By Lanaji jump into this dirty water, their clothes completely get drenched in dirt, in the waste of people, and they pick up this Gatori. And the sons are there saying, We could have bought you as many as you wanted. Why that one? Look at the state of Pai Lana. Look at his clothes. Look how dirty he is. And Guru Nanak Pacha is saying again, saying, Oh, Salakani, turn around to their wife and say, Look deeper. They say, this is his job. This is what he will be doing in the future. He will be saving those people that are full of sin, full of dirt from inside. Patit udharan paharan har anath ke naath. Patit udharan. Patit means the, the sinners. Patit udharan. Udharan means the saviour. 
he's going to be the savior of those people that just like that Gandhi Nali are completely dirty in pop from inside in a chikkad vich jaake aap chakya karna unna nu this is what Pai Lana is going to do he's going to jump into the muck he's going to go and take out those people that are drown drowning patit udharan pai haran he's going to take away their fears har anath ke nath he is going to become the master of the masterless those that have got nobody lana will go and take them in their arms in his arms this is what this pot is saying why do you not see what i see guru nanak dev ji say upon all the parkha when they have now become pure gold and there's nothing left of them now there's no eye left inside now when pai lana ji go back today sit in the taramsala and guru nanak paatsha go towards pai lana and guru nanak paatsha ne pyareo itthe guru nanak paatsha ne pai lane nu aj matha tek ditta guru nanak paatsha today does matha tek to pai lana and this is oh baba buddha come on bring the tilak today he is becoming angad angad meaning from the word ad and ang ad meaning the very first the very first guru guru nanak ang he is becoming the limb of guru nanak today he has become the limb of guru nanak there is no nanak now without angad ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਨੇ ਪਰਕਰਮਾ ਕੀਤੀਆਂ ਤਿੰਨ ਪਰਕਰਮਾ 3 ਟਾਈਮਸ ਵੋਕ ਰਾਹਨ ਪਾਈ ਲੈਣਾ ਪਾਈ ਲੈਣਾ ਜੀ ਸ਼ੇਕ ਇਨ ਦੀ ਹੈਡ ਐਂਡ ਸੇਇੰਗ ਆਈ ਡੋਨਟ ਵਾਂਟ ਥਿਸ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਨਾਟ ਵਾਟ ਆਈ ਕੇਮ ਫੋਰ ਗੁਰਸਿੱਖ ਪਿਆਰੋ ਅਪਾਨ ਸੀਇੰਗ ਥਿਸ ਸਮ ਆਫ ਦ ਸੰਗਤ ਕੇਮ ਐਂਡ ਡਿਡ ਮੱਥਾ ਟੇਕ ਟੂ ਪਾਈ ਲੈਣਾ ਪਾਈ ਲੈਣਾ ਜੀ ਗੈਟਸ ਅਪ ਮੂਵਸ ਬੈਕ ਐਂਡ ਸੇਸ ਵਾਟ ਆਰ ਯੂ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਵਾਟ ਆਰ ਯੂ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਪਾਈ ਗੁਰਦਾਸ ਜੀ ਸੈਜ਼ ਥਾਪਿਆ ਲਹਿਣਾ ਜੀਵ ਦੇ ਜਿਉਂਦੇ ਹੋਏ ਵਾਲਸ ਗੁਰ ਨਾਨਕ ਇਜ਼ ਅਲਾਈਵ ਨੋਬਡੀ ਹੈਜ਼ ਡਨ ਥਿਸ ਬਿਫੋਰ ਨੋਬਡੀ ਹੈਜ਼ ਗਿਵਨ ਦੇ ਥਰੋਨ ਵਾਲਸ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਸਟਿਲ ਅਲਾਈਵ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਪੀਪਲ ਹੈਵ ਗਾਟ ਸੋ ਮਚ ਅਟੈਚਮੈਂਟ ਦੇ ਕਾਨ ਲੈਟ ਗੋ ਬਟ ਪਾਈ ਗੁਰਦਾਸ ਜੀ ਸੈਜ਼ ਗੁਰ ਨਾਨਕ ਚੇਂਜਡ ਦ ਰੀਤ ਦ ਵੇ ਵਨ ਥਿੰਗ ਆਈ ਜਸਟ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਮੈਂਸ਼ਨ ਬਿਫੋਰ ਕੰਟੀਨਿੰਗ ਵਿਦ ਥਿਸ ਗੁਰਸਿੱਕ ਪੇਰੋ ਪੀਪਲ ਆਸਕ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਹਾਊ ਡੂ ਯੂ ਗੈਟ ਪ੍ਰੀਤ how do you fall in love with the guru the word preet this is asi kewe preet paiye guru de naal gursikh pyar the word within the word itself is the answer there is a word called reet in the word preet reet meaning discipline reet meaning way you have to take on the guru's way you have to stay in discipline first first tanu maryada vich rehna pauga ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਗੁਰੂ ਦੇ ਬੰਧਨ ਵਿੱਚ ਆਉਣਾ ਪਊਗਾ ਪੀਪਲ ਸੇ ਹਾਊ ਡੂ ਯੂ ਫਾਲ ਇਨ ਲਵ ਨਹੀਂ ਈਵਨ ਰਿਚੁਅਲਿਸਟਿਕਲੀ ਫਰਸਟ ਵੈਦਰ ਯੂ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਗੈਟ ਅਪ ਅਮਰਤ ਵੈਲਾ ਔਰ ਨਾ ਵਾਂਸ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਗਿਵਨ ਯਰ ਹੈਡ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਨੋ ਚੋਇਸ ਗੈਟ ਅਪ ਅਮਰਤ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਟੂ ਗੈਟ ਅਪ ਅਮਰਤ ਵੈਲਾ ਸਮਬਡੀ ਆਸਕਡ ਹੀ ਸੇਸ ਹਾਊ ਮਚ ਬਾਨੀ ਸ਼ੁਡ ਆ ਰੀਡ ਆ ਸੇ ਵਾਲਾ ਅਮਰਤ ਤਾਰੀ ਹੈਸ ਟੂ ਰੀਡ ਥਿਸ ਮਚ ਐਂਡ ਹੀ ਸੇਸ ਓ ਵਾਟਸ ਦ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਸ ਬਿਟਵੀਨ ਅਨ ਅਮਰਤ ਤਾਰੀ ਐਂਡ ਸਮਬਡੀ ਦੈਟ ਹੈਜ਼ਨਟ ਟੇਕਨ ਅਮਰਤ ਆ ਸੇ ਦ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਸ ਇਸ ਅਮਰਤ ਤਾਰੀ ਹੈਜ਼ਨਟ ਗਾਟ ਅ ਚੋਇਸ is given his head whether he wants to or whether he doesn't pehla reet fe preet paida hogi first reet then preet gursikh pyaro over here pai lana ji jumps back this is what are you doing don't do matha take to me this is what do you mean this is guru nanak has done matha take to you thapya lehna jeev de gure aaye sir shatr fir aaya the shatr the canopy they have waved the canopy of the gurgaddi over your head now then why shall we not do matha take to you pai lana ji says you have got it wrong you are seeing it completely wrong pai lana ji says ask me you see guru nanak paach doing matha take to me no aha tan pai lana ji tan guru angad dev ji pai lana ji turn around and says no this is just like a child he falls into the mud just like a child falls into the mud the parent the father or the mother goes down into that chikkar this is i am just like a little child in fallen into mud just like a father goes into that mud he goes down and he picks the child up because that's what guru nanak has done 
He's not done matha take to me. He's picked, he's picked up this child that has, has fallen into the muck. He goes, but bas, unne inna uccha chak liya. He goes, lene nu unne apne seher uppari chada bitha liya. Just like a father will take his child and he will sit him on their shoulders. He goes, Nanak, he goes, Guru Nanak has picked this child up and sat me on his shoulders. This fallen child. This is what just happened now. Guru Sikh Pera, as Bailana Ji has given the Guru Gaddi, upon the call and on that they have done, the efforts they have made, I've not gone through all the stories because they are beyond. They are limitless, truly are limitless. We can go through these Sakhi again and look at them in different ways because there's so much in each Sakhi. From here, Guru Nanak Pacha sends Bailana Ji back to where they have come from, Kadur Sahib. Can they eat here? Can they learn here? Sorry, Guru Angad Dev Ji, they said. Aap ji no ithe tikkan nahi dena karke ir kha uthe kiti because the jealousy of Guru Nanak Pacha Ji's sons. Pai Lana Ji left, went back to Khadur Sahib and they went and stayed at somebody that they had made into a sister in the young days called Mata Virai. They went and stayed in her home. Uthe Guru Angad Dev Ji bade hi birag vich rahe. Because Guru Angad Dev Ji asked, they said, when will you? Come and see me, Guru Nanak. And this is, don't worry. He says, I will come and visit you. And Guru Nanak Dev Ji went back twice to Kadur Sahib to visit Pai Lana Ji, to visit Guru Angad Dev Ji. So, Guru Sikh Pyaryo, so this is what we're here to do. We're here to go through how each Guru became the Guru. And how did this idea come about to do this? I did this Katha about a year and a half ago in Birmingham in Godwara Baba Sang. It wasn't planned. I just started talking about Pai Lana Ji. And this, this thought about doing this course of how did each Guru become the Guru, it actually came from Pai Lana Ji. Because every time I think of Pai Lana Ji, I'm filled with emotion. And it was Pai Lana Ji that gave me the energy to do what we are doing for these 12 weeks. So now I'm going to have to think about what I'm going to do for the rest of the Gurus because I did it because of Pai Lana Ji. So it, these aren't just stories, these are things to learn from. Like I said, that incident when I happened, when I reacted like that to my wife, and instead of saying that I forgot, it was my mistake, instantly I thought about Pai Lana and I thought, where am I standing or where was Pai Lana standing? These are things to learn from. These are things to take within our lives. And we've been given till half eight. So we're going to finish off with Banji for about two minutes. We'll do some Simran on the Vajra again like we started. Think of Pailena. Tan, Tan, Tan Guru Angad Dev Ji Padshah. Together, focus on Pailena that became Guru Angad Dev Ji. Let some of the teachings be flourished into our lives too. Upon saying these words, I must have made many mistakes. Please forgive me. So, Bhagshu Asis, the Gaj Vajke Akko, Vahi Guruji Ka Khalsa, Vahi Guruji Ka Vahi Guru Vahi Guru Vahi Guru Vahi Guru Vahi Guru